How you do? <laughs> Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, you have seen the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for our sake, fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, Elihu, king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence and then you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Mark 7, 1. Through thirty. Now, when the Pharisees gathered to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and for all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands properly, holding to the tradition of the elders. And when they came from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions that they observed, such as washing of cups and pots and copper, copper vessels and dining couches. The Pharisees and scribes asked him, why do, you, why do your disciples not walk according to the traditions of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines, the commandments of men. You leave the commandment of Elohim and hold the, to the tradition of men. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of Elohim in order to establish your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father and mother must surely die. But you say, If a man tells his father and mother whatever you would have gained from me, is Corban, that is given to Elohim, then you no longer permit him to do anything that is father or mother, thus making void the word of Elohim by your tradition that you have handed down, and many such things you do. And he called the people to him again, and he said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going to Going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defiles him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable, and he said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see what that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart but his stomach, and is expelled? Thus he declared all foods clean, and he said, what comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of, his, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. And from there he arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house, and did not want anyone to know. Yet he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him, and came, and he fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a, a Seraphonician by birth. And she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter, and he said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this statement you may go away. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. A blessed art thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth and said everlasting life in her midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give her the Torah. Brukat Adonai, the new Malach, Natan Lunu Tori Me Vaishi Alum Nata Beti Can You Bruku Ta Dona Natin Ha Ra Thank you for watching my 